to steer the growth of a nation, fuel the empowerment of the common man. India is in the midst of a historic transition from being little more than one of the world's most attractive consumer goods market to an aggressively growing economic powerhouse. This rapid growth has called for heavy investment in physical infrastructure including the power sector. Over the last few years, the power sector has drawn special attention of policy makers both in terms of investment and reforms. Despite this, availability of electricity has not been able to keep pace with the demand. A number of rural and even urban pockets across the country are devoid of adequate power supply. In addition to this, consumers are largely unaware of their rights and responsibilities towards usage of electricity. रात की नई जिंदगी में जैसे कहते हैं सर्दियों में तो फिर भी थोड़ा सा बिना लाइट के रहा जा सकता है लेकिन गर्मियों में वैसे भी धौलपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में सबसे ज़्यादा हाईएस्ट टेम्परेचर रहता है और उस समय लाइट का इतना मारा मारी रहती है कि कंप्लेंट रात्रि को कंप्लेंट कर रहे हैं कभी एस से कर रहे हैं कभी एक्शन से कर रहे हैं कभी ए से कर रहे हैं लेकिन वो कंप्लेंट को सुना नहीं जाता उनका सीधा से एक जवाब रहता है साहब क्या करें चोरी हो रही है या उधर से लाइट पूरी मिल नहीं पा रही है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस द गवर्निंग मैकेनिज्म established to handle consumer grievances and address pressing issues has been largely ineffective. A more critical failure has been the inadequate consumer representation in the development and regulatory process in the sector. Educating the consumer uh, is a problem. Uh, we are not investing much amount on uh, this advertisement and uh, consumer education and uh, about our schemes. This is one of the shortcoming. Several consumer organizations and NGOs have expressed their concerns with regard to power reforms. They have felt the need to make the process more consumer oriented. One such organization that has taken affirmative steps towards this direction is Cuts International. Cuts began its journey in 1983 as a rural development communication initiative. Today, the organization works in several areas of public interest with the vision of securing consumer sovereignty in the framework of social justice and equality. Cuts has undertaken the initiative to intercept the voice of the masses, to enhance the effectiveness of regulatory regimes in the electricity sector and ensure improved services at competitive rates for the consumers. A pilot project on capacity building on electricity reforms popularly known as the RESA project, is an initiative of CUTS which is supported by Norwegian Agency for Development Cooperation. The project is aimed at securing long-term capacity building of the civil society for participation in the policy process. The project adopted a unique approach of reaching out to grassroots consumer groups to give them a better understanding and awareness to engage in the reform process. Cuts has undertaken this initiative in the Indian states of Rajasthan and West Bengal and in the neighboring countries Bangladesh and Nepal. The project is being implemented in collaboration with local partners such as South Asia Watch on Trade, Economics and Environment in Nepal and Onayan Shamanyu in Bangladesh. In India, the project is being carried out in partnership with CUTS Center for Consumer Action, Research and Training in Rajasthan and CUTS Calcutta Resource Center in West Bengal. In the first phase of the project, a consumer perception survey was carried out across project territories. This survey was undertaken 
to determine the problems faced by various consumer groups and to gauge their understanding of electricity reforms. The findings from the survey revealed various systemic problems being faced by grassroots level consumers. These findings served as vital inputs for planning the grassroots interface meetings, the GIMs. The grassroots meetings were conceived as a platform to bring service providers and local civil society organizations together to make the consumer groups aware of their role in regulatory reforms. Cuts involved local partners at different locations to ensure better and continuous participation of the consumers. Today, we have been given to us that the power of and किन कारण से अपने फायदा रह सकता है वो वातावरण होने के हमें को शांति समूह मिला है A typical meeting started with the registration of participants who came from villages and towns in the region They were given a territorial base paper as a part of a resource kit to facilitate discussions during the session This was a meticulously compiled information kit covering various aspects of consumer rights and responsibilities and was useful in setting the premise for discussion. The grassroots meetings drew a comprehensive representation of consumer groups, right from farmers to commercial users to housewives, which was critical to register the challenges faced at various levels. The meeting was conducted in four crisp sessions, which touched upon essential topics like electricity reform process and role of consumer, complaint redressal mechanism, role of consumers in reduction of power theft, and energy conservation. Each session started with an engaging presentation by a CUTS representative. This was followed by a word from a representative of the local partner. The local officers from the electricity distribution companies educated the participants on several issues including the reform process, redressal mechanism and measures for energy conservation. जो प्रक्रिया बारे में बताया वो भी बढ़िया है वो बहुत आओ कहाँ जाना चाहिए कैसी रिपोर्ट इंटरेस्ट करनी चाहिए टेलीफोन से या व्यक्तिगत रूप से या ईमेल से जैसे भी तीन साधन है इससे जो शिकायत दर्ज करेंगे वो बढ़िया बात है इससे फायदा होगा वो बहुत आओ कैसे जैसी शिम से भी संस्था वहाँ के सामाजिक कार्यकर्ता जागरूक नागरिक जागरूक उपभोक्ता मिल करके प्रशासन समाज की है सास की है प्रशासन की है समाज की है इन तीनों का मिजोल बना करके गांव में चौपाल बनाई जाए चौपाल में बैठ करके नीति निर्धारण बना करके फिर पटल पर पहुंचे जाए कि आप क्या चाहते हो हम क्या चाहते हैं कर्ज के माध्यम से इस में सुधार आ सकता है